hello friends thank you for joining me today if you are new to our channel you're very very welcome um today is the first video of 2024 and i'm glad to be joined by my friend in medjugorje katie hurstich to unpack and share about the latest message from medjugorje about this gift that everybody has been talking about so hello Cathy. How are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Now, for those of you, who, again, who are new to our channel, Kathy has been living in Medjugorje for over 30 years. She was there yesterday at the apparition. Um, lots to share with us, um, who received lots of visitors throughout the year. So, Kathy, it must have been exciting for you to, yesterday to, again, experience this apparition, the first of the year for 2024. Yes, Carol, and Our Lady's Day, and you know, it's a day of peace, so that's what I felt yesterday was, we're, pr we're praying for peace in the world, Our Lady is asking us to pray for peace, peace in our hearts, you know? Yes, it was quite incredible because, obviously, being in these circles and, and in Catholic circles, there was lots going around about it, and we obviously I tuned in to Mary TV Live, I tuned in from two o'clock and I prayed with everybody, until uh, the apparition itself and i know you were there and we talked about this before we came on camera it reminded me so much of fatima the final apparition of fatima the rain was torrential and you guys were there on apparition hill through the mud tell us what was it like it was difficult, Carol. Like, it was very difficult. <laughs> we were there in the rain. But as soon as the war happened in October, didn't Our Lady ask us to pray fast? She thanked us yesterday for fasting for her intentions. And she asked us to do sacrifices for peace. Yes. So my whole mind yesterday went to, it was difficult yesterday for three hours to do that sacrifice, maybe. But what about the people in Gaza yes. that have constant sacrifice now? What about the people in Ukraine that are suffering this all the time? Yes, terrible, awful. We cannot even imagine what these poor people are going through. And friends, I just want to remind you of what the message was yesterday. It was to Mariana, wasn't it, yesterday? It was um, to Maria. Maria. Maria, excuse me, Maria. She says, thank you for responding to my call and thank you for praying for my intentions. Neither you nor your children will regret it so she was alluding again to a gift maria was saying that she was going to i guess give to us kathy and i guess everybody in their own expectations was maybe expecting all kinds of things but from a person who was there and judging what's going on in the world right now scriptures leading up to christmas to this day what is your interpretation of what that gift is or what our lady was I think, I, I think it's the gift of perseverance in prayer you know that we start the year our lady's day praying because she needs our prayers to, to stop this war to bring peace she needs our prayers like in fatima she needs our penances she needs our fasting we have to repair for the sin these poor people that their lives are being destroyed by yes. war you know it's not right we, ha we have yes. to prepare for this sin this is not the way god calls us to live yes so you're saying then that i guess the gift she wants to give us is that gift of peace that everybody desires in their heart we all desire that peace and our lady tells us that we're also living in a time of grace and i guess you know how do we realize that grace in our lives is through prayer right yeah, because I mentioned to you about the first reading on the Saturday, the 30th of December from yeah. the letter to St. John. The world is passing away. You know, people are so worried still about worldly things, their jobs, they're still singing, dancing, whatever. And they're not realizing the chastisements, the earthquakes, the wars, you know, that are happening you know, people are not getting it that we're being called to prayer, you know, we're being called to change our lives. Yeah, yeah. And funny enough, yesterday I was at Mass and um, obviously the first Mass of the year and the priest was, this was what he was talking about. The Mother of God is has the ability to bring peace into each and every heart through her. 
she has we have been given this wonderful gift of our blessed mother by saying the rosary etc and by praying for her intentions you know we out of that we get the peace we get the peace that we all desire but for those of you who are new to our channel we have been really focusing a lot on the divine will Kathy you know and you know according to the divine will we are moving into an era of peace and indeed we are in that era of of grace in our lives right but the one thing that you mentioned uh to me also before we came online was the fact that when um Marie was t was actually saying the air father when she says thy will be done on earth it is exactly at that time that our lady appears right thy it's will be done but it's when she says thy kingdom come thy because kingdom come. Was the kingdom of the divine will and she just said the next two words of thy will but you could see that our lady was all already there you know but we did hear thy will and then after that, we don't hear Maria speak. You know, she is speaking to her lady, but we can't hear the words. Yes. But I mentioned in a previous video, so we were praying the Our Father prayer. The Hail, you would you would think that our lady would come during the Hail Mary prayer when we're giving her glory. Yes. No. Uh, then we do the glory be to the Father. But I mentioned that it's always she's doing the Our Father prayer. She says, thy kingdom come. And as soon as she says those words, which are the words of the divine will, because the kingdom is of doing God's will rather than our own will. That's the kingdom that has to come. And it was the same on the hill. But she had just said, thy will, as in like God's will, Our Lady was there. Yes, yes. But this is the kingdom that we're talking about, that Our Lady wants to come. There will be no peace until we all do God's will rather than our own human will. Yes. And what really, um, it was a beautiful message to kick off 2024 with, right? Yeah, so Our Lady has told us that this era of peace is coming. But um, like I said, it's like building your house on a rock. You know, the storms are all around. The difficulty is all around. People are turning away from God. And are we going to keep persevering in prayer? Are our priests going to keep persevering? Is our church? It is, you know, God wins like it is. But... Mm -hmm. She wants her children with her, you know. We must do it strongly. We must have a strong will now mm -hmm. to pray. Yeah. It's not easy to pray anymore. It's not easy, you know. Everything is against us. Yeah. So we, need, we need a strong will to persevere, you know, keep going. We need a strong will, absolutely, 100%. And the gift of prayer helps us to attain that peace. So I guess, I really, we just wanted to, I guess, pop on in closing, Katty, to just have a wee conversation about the message because if we look outside in our world today you know people are concerned about what the pope is saying and and you know what's coming out of the synod but ultimately you know our lady wants us to have that peace of within our hearts because only when we have peace ourselves individually can the world have peace right so i guess what a unique time in history we're living in won't wouldn't you agree that okay you know to think that you know a world may be in a very challenging time a difficult period in history but at the same time we have this wonderful grace coming from heaven telling us to keep praying that there is a great hope that the hope we should always place in is in god right yeah this time of peace is coming i think that our lady was confirming to us yesterday that our strength and faith, our obedience just to be there with Our Lady is going to confirm that the people there are going to experience this new era of peace. I think the people that stayed there yesterday that Our Lady was confirming that. And I have to tell you, Carol, that people left, you know, after an hour, people okay. started leaving. Even up, you know, there was only a half an hour maybe to go, people still left, you know, so not everybody stayed there. Not everybody was able to stay there till the end, you know. And I don't blame them, you know, it was, you know, yes. their prayers, they did whatever sacrifice they could do, but. Well, I hope Our Lady will extend to the grace to those who are watching also, because I myself, like I say, tuned in for the whole period of time. And I just want to give a shout out to Mary TV there, who did a wonderful job. They actually went out and did it live, which is not easy in such weather. So a big shout out to Mary TV. And the caption I've used for this video all comes also comes from Mary TV. 
So friends, I want to encourage you in closing in this video. Press on, have peace in your hearts, be hopeful of a great future ahead of us. Um, our future, as we all know, is not an earthly one, but it's a heavenly one. And we have so much to be grateful for, for living in these times, even though we don't feel that way. Regardless of what comes out of Rome, God is still on the throne. God can still reign in our hearts, right, Kathy? If we allow yeah, our, to. Our hope is in God and Our Lady is relying on us, each one of us. She needs our prayers. She needs our penances. And you can only understand yesterday in terms of penance, redemptive suffering. We did a video on redemptive suffering. So if you don't believe in redemptive suffering, you wouldn't understand yesterday. Yes, yes. And hello for, for those people who are new to our channel. As I said, we have done a lot of work on this. So go through um, our channel and find the video on redemptive suffering. Kathy, we may do something again in, about suffering in the new year in light of what's going on again in our world and maybe just do a refreshing video on redemptive suffering and what that means. So friends, we have a lot to be grateful for um, in our lives as modern day Catholics. I want to encourage you, stay tuned to great content coming up in the new year and again, more from Kathy. So anything, a closing message, Kathy? Before... Um, Carol, in Mexico, we pick a saint for the year, a special saint. Yeah. So I've already got my saint, which is St. Mark for the year, but would you like me to choose a saint for you? Please do, go ahead. Okay, so I have my back here and there's only one of each saint. I don't fix this, okay? Okay, all right. There was a man who does divine will and uh, he picked a name out and he got St. Hannibal de Francia, Louisa's. Oh my goodness. Wonderful. And he said to me, did you think this? He said, did you fix this? That there's a lot of St. Hannibal and Louisa? And I said, no. <laughs> I said, there's one of each saint. So, Ka Carol, you get St. Thomas. St. Thomas. Yeah. Oh, I like that. You get St. Thomas for okay, the year. Okay, okay. Doubting Thomas. Doubting <laughs> Thomas. There we go. Say no more. And anyway, friends, thank you for joining me for this brief message. Tune in for more to come. And I don't normally say this, but if you're new, please hit the notify uh, bell so you can get notified of our latest content. And if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. Okay, friends, until next time, thank you for joining me. And thank you. Again, Katty, thank you for joining me all the way over Medjugorje to tell us about that fantastic day that happened, a momentous day, a historical day that happened in Medjugorje. So again, thank you for joining me. God bless and Our Lady needs your prayers. Keep praying. Okay. Thank you, friends. Bye-bye for now. Yeah.